Hey guys, so what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the kind of recently launched Mars Cosmetics Matinee Non-Transfer Lipstick. Now this video was quite highly requested and here we have it today. Now uh, they do offer a total of 12 shades. I have picked out 5 of them. So as always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video all right so let's quickly go over with the features of these lipsticks now it says that it is a smudge proof ultra pigmented lipstick ultra matte so it gives like a smooth matte finish look it's highly pigmented so it delivers a high pigmented color which lasts for hours it has a lightweight finish so it spreads like heaven on your lips and does not feel heavy now this is organic vegan and cruelty free as well and it's priced at 249 rupees for 3.5 grams of product and like i mentioned before they do offer a total of 12 shades and I bought mine off of Amazon. So the lipstick comes in this golden packaging with black writing. At the bottom you have the shade name and number. And the cap is a rotating type of a cap. Just one quick rotate and it comes out. And this is how the actual lipstick looks like. Okay, so let's quickly go over with the formula and the pros of these lipsticks. Now, firstly, these glide on super smooth. It goes on like butter. It doesn't feel heavy at all, nor is it tacky or sticky or anything of that sort. Now, it does take some time to set, but once it does, it sets to a beautiful matte finish. Now, these do give like a one swipe sort of a pigmentation, but I personally prefer to have like two layers to get the full opacity. Now, like I mentioned before, it does take a while for it to set. So it takes like a minute or two for it to completely set but even then it doesn't feel shiny or glossy it's just that it does not transfer once it is completely set like for example it does not transfer at all and this has been on on my lips for a while now so these are transfer proof smudge proof and mask proof as well and now these lasted for me for like about six to seven hours and then i had to eat 
and this is how it looked like once you have a heavy meal as you guys can see there is an outer line that is visible where in the middle portion everything is gone off however if you do press your lips together you will get like a sheer coverage of the original color and uh, you're good to go now for the removal of these lipsticks now you can use a wet wipe but there will be a lot of tugging and pulling so i would highly recommend using like a micellar water or the best will be an oil infused micellar water which work like a charm for me or any oil based product and lastly i do appreciate the fact that they do have an arms watch which is available online which is quite helpful for you to pick and choose the color that you like and now for the fii's there are three points the first point is that they do have a smell to it now it is extremely faint you cannot smell them when you're applying the lipstick as well like only when you take the lipstick and smell it close to your nose is when you can get that smell but it does have that very artificial chocolatey kind of smell if i'm not that wrong so yeah it does have a very faint smell you can't smell it but it's there the second point is that the cap for these lipsticks are not a pull type it's more like a rotation kind of a type and then it comes out so yeah i i'm such a dumbass because each and every time i was watching it i kept pulling it because i'm so used to it it's like muscle memory with any bullet lipsticks but yeah you have to like unscrew it it's just a quick rotation and it's out but yeah it's not the pull type the third point is that when i received these lipstick the topmost portion of the lipstick it kind of was smudged now i will insert a video what exactly i'm talking about now i have no idea how that happened but it came like that in the packaging itself which was sealed by the way and uh, yeah that was something that i noticed now for me personally it's not a con because once i applied it it kind of like molded into place but then yeah that's why i'm just putting it like an fii and this happened for three of the shades out of the five that i ordered so yeah they were kind of smudged at the topmost portion of it okay so it was kind of getting dark so i've increased the brightness don't mind that now moving on to the cons the first con is that these are so soft and so smooth that the lipstick itself is kind of wobbly now this is for all the five shades and bear in mind it's not broken but it's just like dangling here and there when i apply it and which is so inconvenient initially i thought i would put this like an fii but as i was swatching i could feel my frustration building up because the color is so pigmented it was smudging everywhere and it was like wobbling here and there as i was swiping so yeah that is a con for me and this is the way how it came this came as it is when i received it it was wobbly <laughs> and for the last con is that these do crumble now i was genuinely hoping it doesn't because i had the same problem with their other lipsticks as well now this again does the same exact same thing like after a couple of hours when you press your lips together it becomes all crumbly and grainy and the color kind of comes off in a patchy manner which i'm not so sure why it does that but it does and this is for again all the shades there is no difference at all but yeah So yeah guys these were my thoughts on the Mars Cosmetics Macne lipsticks and this wraps today's video you guys I hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishanaer on Instagram and Ishanaer on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye